distinguished YouTube viewers, once again, thank you for your comments and contribution to Discovering War Channel. So far, so good. I have I've been receiving a lot of uh, response from my viewers for the past productions I made. And I appreciate what you're doing. So, the last video I discussed uh, intensively about the 50 kVA configuration system. The last one we produced, I produced was has to do with an uh, electric motor. I explained different functions of electric motor. The low electric motor as long as several generators concerned. And why electric motor is needed in the serenade generator. Today I'm going to focus on the flywheel because we are still the series. We are still the series of uh, uh, seven generator configuration. For some of you have not watched the first video which has to do with the, the generator aspect, you can go there. Today I'm going to talk about flywheel connection for 50 kW server self running generator this is a secret 3 with this secret 1 which is just do generator with this secret 2 the electric motor and today I'm going to focus on the secret 3 which is basically on the flyway you know the flyway play a vital role in the self running generator system and without the flyway you cannot have a good production system and that is why the role of a flyway cannot be emphasized. The flyway is essentially a very heavy wheel that takes a lot of force to spin around. It might be a large diameter wheel with a spoke and a very heavy metal ring or it could be a small diameter cylinder made of made up of a light carbon fiber composite. The flyweed needs a lot of force to start itself start, start off. So it needs a lot of force to make it stop. That is you need a lot of force to start a flyweed. The force to do with yeah the power for a fire to start, you need a lot of force for it to start. And it also need a lot of force for it to stop. That is where it has said you need a lot of force to start, and a lot of force to stop. As a result, when it is spinning at a high speed, it tends to take that tend to keep on, which means it can store a great deal of kinetic energy, it store energy in the form of movement. Like kinetic energy. Flyway store energy in form of what? Movement. That is, it is at its spin, even if the power is off, the flywheel is still on moving. That is what makes it beautiful in the seven inch generator because you have to switch off from the initial power source to the the generator power source. That is from the initial power source to generate a power so as it's, as it's quick turning, make it easier for you to switch off. Now let us talk about the issue of flyway in terms of uh, the different flyway system, types of flyway you can use. Flywheel comes in all shapes and sizes. Modern flywheels are a bit different from the one that were popular during the industrial age or industrial revolution. Instead of a wide and heavy steel wheel with an with even heavier steel rims, 21st century wheel tend to be more compact and made from carbon fiber or composite materials, sometimes with steel rims which work out perhaps a quarter as heavy. There is this Flywheel these days are made of, of steel. 
is not as heavy as a thing because sometimes we think that is when something is heavy is that when it's good no the flywheel system even if it's not heavy but is 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 it's easier it's better when it's lighter because it spins faster that way i have something like this to show you to prove to you now this is what is made of steel this is a flywheel and it's a different type here we have about different type about four flywheels here this is one this is two this is three and this is four the reason for this multiple flywheel system is because of the engine system this is a very big director and this is how to be has a flywheel because this one this flywheel now as this now link this uh, electric motor to this aspect why there is a appearance here that connect this flywheel together and then therefore it links this one to this one then this one and this another one here which is the, the appearance now I link this one to this one so the flywheel now itself as a bridge that helps to link that helps to connect the generators now to the helps connect the fly the electric motor to the generator that's why we have something like this. this is what you are talking about now so this is a, a steel metal it's light it's very light but it speeds in a very high frequency that is why you need it when you're doing a projection because it's help you to it is a flag that it will help you to rotate the generator very very fast and it also helps to start current in other words if this if this uh, cable is connected to the power source and the generator is off the flyway will still turn on so in that period the flyway will still turn you can switch over that is why I remember in my first video I talked about switching over from generator or to the from the power source generator I told you that for the process of switching over for, for you to switch over you must the, the generator must be in motion so that the current that you generate is still continuous so that is where the flyway comes in because the flyway will keep the generator in motion that is the air of flyway. The flyway will enable the generator to be in motion. As the generator keeps in motion, the, uh, the light will still come out, the energy will still be generated. That is where you can now switch over to the, the electric motor, which is this one. Now, let's go further. You can see something like this about different. Now, this is where we talk about the flyway. Uh, what are the signs of a bad flyway? Now I'm going to talk about some science about the bad flyway and how to make a good choice of a flyway because sometimes you may go and pick a flyway, it's not every flyway that is good for use. For instance, you see something like this, now see how it is, how it's constructed, and see something like this. Now you see this one, it has bearings, this is bearings, this bearings, and then it connects with the way it's a little, this way, you see, so when this is mount and this is mount, then this can be rotated. That's what you see on this area here. You can see it here. This is a this is a, a bearings and this bearings and it's connected to this, which enables the generator to run at a very high speed. So in every flyway, you should have a bearings or you should have a required connector to enable it to connect to the other stage. Anyway, we have this, we have this here, and you can see this is a bed that join the two flyway, and then from this flyway we have another one here. And this is a bigger one that link to the this one here. So you can see that each of them has a small has a, a bearing that will enable to turn. Now, if you want to know how some flywheel, how to make a good flywheel, for instance, you say if you to wait to you say what are the signs of bad flywheel? One of the signs of that flywheel is a uh, bone smell. One of these is bone smell. If the flywheel is faulting. You see that you will perceive some smell, and that smell comes from the bearings. This is the bearings here. If you look at inside this place, you will see bearings in this hubs, just like this thing you now. This is the bearings here. So when it starts smelling, or when you start here, perceiving some odor, has to do with bone, then you should know that the fly, the flywheel bearings is faulty, and in this stage, you need to change it. So if your man, your, fly, your energy will fly with and there is bearings on it and you should point where you you perceive in order the best thing to do is to open the flyway and, and remove the bearings and change it 
to make it easier for you and also work perfectly for you. That is what you can talk about changing the battery. Now, what are the best design for a flyway? How do you choose a flyway? What are the things you put in consideration if you want to do your own flyway? Because some people want to do a flyway. It's not every flyway you do. You must be able to understand the rudiment and the, the kind of material you use in doing flyway. That's why I say, what what is the best design for a flyway system? How do you what kind of design you use? You're using the you're going to do the 50 kV generator. What kind what kind of of a design you're going to use? What kind of design you say? Okay, so it falls on you. It follows on this basic law of physics. For you to do a good fly, we, we take the law of physics into consideration. And this law, the law of physics make us understand that and the flywheel will store more energy if it has either a higher moment of inertia, more mass or more mass position further from its center. For instance, if the flywheel has more strength has more power has more steel it means it will be a able to say yeah it's store more energy so for you to choose a flywheel you look at the material cost now you say the force on a flywheel increases with the speed and the energy a flywheel can store is limited by the strength of the material from which it's made the energy a flywheel can store the energy is the only thing about energy storage, not talking about reserve, we're talking about energy storage in terms of, in terms of movement, that is, in terms of, in terms of kinesthetics, talking about the turning rate. The energy rate at which the flywheel can turn, the energy rate, which the, the rate at which the flywheel can turn is basically uh, basically on the materials that the, you use in consumer flywheel. So if you want to consume flywheel, put the materials into consideration. Don't just go and, go and make the flyway and it's going to have a good energy. No, you must be able to understand the kind of material you're using. You must have a good material. So, have is solid materials in a flyway system. That's why I say this is very good. You know, material you may say, spin a flyway too fast and you eventually reach a point where the force is so great that it can shatter the flyway into fragments. So the flyway is too heavy and it's, it's been a very high speed to the point of scatter. It's about st storage light weight materials out out uh, material turn out to be the best for flyway since they can spin fastest without breaking apart. So the 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 light materials like steel are very good for flyway. For instance, this is a steel. This this what this what you see here, this is a steel flyway. This is a steel. This is steel, this is steel. But if you look at this place, this is not a steel, this is a molecular of a thick metal. Just like something like this is a of thick metal, it's very heavy. So it's not advisable to use this one as a flyway system because it's too heavy. It will, it will, it will, it will, it will crack. And for example, this steel cannot crack because it's lighter in complexion, lighter in, uh, in strength, and it can also produce good results. So, if you want to choose a material for flywheel, you consider the terms of the heaviness, and also that is where you can be able to know where the flywheel will fly very high or fly very low. So, now let's see that many of you don't really know much about flyway but in this case when i show you when you watch this video we are going to have a full comprehension on how how flyway works you have a good understanding you can be able to learn concern flyway in your own so let us go ahead and see how this look now let's continue because many of us may not really have understanding about this flyway system but let's see how it's going to look. Now, if you see this one, let us see. We see this is this is a this is flyway, and this is the bearings, the bearings that is joined together, and join the flyway here to together. Now, if you observe, this is the panel of the generator, which is used in the to join to, join to, the, to the generator. Then, for the flyway stone. Now, this is the. This is the flyway of the sun, this is the flyway, 
and this is the this is the bearings and then as you can see this is we have a smaller flywheel there so you can have more than three flywheels in the system just like this one we have this one the smallest this is small and this is small big small uh, biggest this is small this is the bigger is the bigger the biggest and the big so you can now see the whole thing and you also have a flywheel here which is also joined by by the bed by the bed you can see it here you can see it you see it so the, on the motion now so you can see and you also have a, a mini flywheel that join this uh motor to this one but this is the flywheel down so if you are inside the system then the system is also working perfectly and this is the light the flywheel of is telling how the light shines as you can see now the light is also in the shining stage then you can see how the flywheel is still still turning in a very high speed you can see the energy phase here and about this place you can have a very good energy to see it and the flywheel is handling that they are putting on this aspect and also here the sign of the, the welding machine that I never used to work you can see the flywheel this, this is a very it's a heavy, heavy uh, metal a heavy wire metal and this is a cross a rectum that joins this thing so again as you can see it joins for this one and this one is the rectum the rectum also joins to the flywheel uh, the rectum will think that joins this as you can see the rectum will join this one and this one now is the, the flywheel that joins this so if you are that quickly you know that this okay let me show something here this is the this is the appearance this is the appearance of the the appearance and this thing this is the flywheel this is the flywheel this one is a, a big flywheel with a heavy flywheel heavy stand flywheel then this this uh iron join the flywheels all of them together using this iron and then this is the appearance of each of them so if the appearance if the, the, the flywheel is to be bad then the appearance must cut on because when the appearance this one cannot turn so that is very true and it's turning if i say it now the flywheel is in the very high speed it's, it's turning to the very high so this, this is the director i is going to add light the director link to the panel you can see this one link to the panel i'll show you this is the director this is the link to the panel and this is the, the, the iris and sitting pass it between the director as you can see now so now okay, look at this electric motor we'll talk about that in the last video and uh, electric motor so we are first we are also going to the channel and see where the thing is coming about the electric motor and how bad it is as far as where all the pressure is concerned so if you want to look at it here the flower is not bad and this is the light system as you can see here it's showing a lot of light here so it tells the energy is moving very fast then if you continue washing it over, you see the different joint, you see the power pack connection, you see the, the meter of the water, which is also the person, how the water is now, see, I'm going to do something now.